some of the announcements we missed today uh, are pretty important. Uh, uh, one of them is, unfortunately, I can't take part in anymore because I can't ride. But the uh, ride for the blind, provider ride, go to the U uh, not YouTube, uh, face page, Facebook, and look up uh, provider ride. I think they have methods and ways there on who to contact and how to contact. This is a very rewarding situation here. You're taking people who have are sight impaired, putting them on your motorcycle. Now you have to have helmets, backrests, and foot pegs for them, and they have to wear proper shoes and everything to ride on the back of the bike. Would you take them for about a 10 to 15 to 20, I think it's 25 miles round trip down PCH into Long Beach and back. And, uh, they have the greatest time you've ever seen in your life. Uh, like I said last week, they see things that you don't see and they will point them out to you. A few years ago, I had the honor of having a uh, uh, first sergeant uh, on the back, and I asked him, I said, why were you out in an area where you could get hit with a mortar around and lose your sight? He says, that's where my men were at. That's right. That's a first sergeant. <coughs> Another one just got posted, a 24-year-old Navy vet is coming in from life on Monday morning. Uh, they'll be in Coachella for a fuel stop at about 1045. I'll be out there to meet them. If you'd like to join me, I'll probably leave the Banning Beaumont area around 10 o'clock, slightly before riding out to Coachella to escort them into Riverside. They're due here at 1245 Monday morning. Just got posted. Again, 24-year-old Navy vet. And these are up on the uh, site now? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. it. All right, make sure you check on that. Get, get the full information. <laughs>